For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hindustan bhi mera hai aur Pakistan bhi mera hai Hindustan bhi mera hai aur Pakistan bhi mera hai lekin in dono mulkon pe samraj ka dera hai aid ki gandam kha kha ke humne kitne dhoke khaye hain kuch na poocho samraj ke kitne naaz uthaye hain फिर भी अब तक वादी गुल को संगीनों ने घेरा है हिंदुस्तान भी मेरा है और पाकिस्तान भी मेरा है हेलो एंड वेलकम टू पीपल्स डिस्पैच टुडे वी ज्वाइन बाय डॉक्टर तैमूर रहमान द जनरल सेक्रेटरी ऑफ द पाकिस्तान मजदूर किसान पार्टी एंड वन ऑफ द की पीपल इन द बैंड लाल and we're going to talk about the importance of cultural resistance taimur so you've been with uh, the the band lal has had a huge impact both in south asia and across the world that together <laughs> <laughs> and <clears throat> it's also introduced if i can maybe call it a different style of leftist cultural activity so we've had oh, nice. of course different uh, various kinds of music in the past but lal has brought in a mix of musical genres it has tried something new mm. so how do you see your experience in music as part of political activity to make it be put it a very blunt question <laughs> <laughs> well um <laughs> it's a tough question let me start by sort of uh, explaining to you that in the context of pakistan since the communist party of pakistan was banned in 1954 after the pindi conspiracy case right. a huge articulation of uh, you know the the major articulation on the of what the left stood for in the context of pakistan always occurred through art and culture right. it occurred through music it occurred through poetry it occurred through painting uh, and street theater and so on so there's a long precedent to what i'm doing i'm not the first uh, uh, certainly i won't be the last either there was ajoka before me there was dastak they were doing street theater uh, there was you know nayira singh's fairs and iqbal banu singh's fairs and this had massive impact on 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 pakistan there's uh, um, uh, you know uh, 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 of course a progressive writers movement itself people like fairs ahmed fairs and ahmed faraz and uh, habib jalib etc all of whom had a really massive impact on the cultural landscape of pakistan so all of this was already present in pakistan and i grew up with a, a, a big chunk of it i think the only thing that you could probably credit me with was uh, number one uh, moving Uh, moving the cultural work of the left on the internet right. which a lot of people were not doing because they were much more focused on do, performing for the street and performing in schools colleges and other places so i moved it to the internet that was the first thing and the second thing is perhaps uh, in terms of musical style uh, the transformation because uh the original style was that we did it in the ghazal style right. the ghazal style dominated over progressive music mm-hmm. um partly because progressive poetry was written very much in the ghazal uh, mold right. uh, it it was uh, they were bas- they were basically ghazals mm-hmm. uh, except that they were revolutionary and right. you know fair sort of turned the love poem into a revolutionary poem so therefore it m- sort of made sense for people to take the the form of the ghazal the rag of the ghazal the the instrumentation of the ghazal and then you know and then to sing the ghazal right. but the re- but it was a revolutionary ghazal so i guess the the transformation that that i brought about was that you know utilizing guitars and drums and western instruments and while staying within uh, eastern rags etc you know sort of i blended the two sort of fused the two <clears throat> i don't think i can take too much musical credit for that to be honest because that's all i knew how to do <laughs> if somebody had asked me to write a, okay maybe i'm being unfair on myself um but the point was i think we grew up with music that was partly inspired certainly by ghazal but partly also inspired by western music by contemporary popular and rock music which was very much part of the pakistani scene as well right so we had janoon before us and we had vital signs and all of that sort of stuff so we had already become you know very much acquainted with sounds that were you know that were uh, that that fused western and eastern influences right. that was something that was already there right and so the again so the only credit that can be given to me is that i moved progressive music into that domain yes. a domain that already existed musically so mainly the credit is that i could sort of synthesize combined elements that already existed and put them in this sort of new form 
I'm very uh, pleased with the result uh, that we uh, that you know the, what we were able to accomplish with that because frankly we thought this was going to be just something that we would do and a few hundred people would sort of listen and that would be the end of that you know um, we never I never really thought that it could have the level of popular appeal that it did it it hit us all by complete surprise and I think uh, it, you know politically I think we uh, you know I'd been struggling for a decade, in a, a decade at least before that, so I, you know that was quite uh, different. But um, um, from a musical perspective, uh, we weren't really expecting it. But it was a wonderful transformation. But one thing that I, I, uh, you know, wanted to sort of I've been emphasizing for a while now in the context of Pakistan is that people who have been doing politics through the domain of culture, and people who have been doing politics in the traditional political way, right. have moved apart from each other. The people doing uh, cultural politics don't want to get involved with political parties. Right. And the people involved with political parties right. say, well, we can, these are some nice people who are doing some nice work, but I'm not really sure what it has to do with us. Right. You know, those two domains have to be brought back together. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel that it's not so much the political parties in Pakistan that are reluctant to allow the domains to come together. It's more the cultural activists that have sadly developed a strong antipathy towards, you know, party politics, right. <coughs> which make them say this, you know, because there's a whole <coughs> assault mm -hmm. within the cultural domain also that, uh, you know, art cannot be commissioned art. And there was commissioned art in the socialist movement, Soviet Union, also, also Nazi Germany, but also commissioned art by, you know, sort of ca the capitalist corporates, except all of that right. stuff. So artists feel a strong sense of independence right. and, and they should. They ought to an autonomy, and so they feel that the way to uh, to uh, manifest that autonomy is to stay away from political parties. Right, right. But my view is different from that. My view is that parties can give you wide political autonomy Absolutely. as an artist, and yet you can be politically not just committed ideologically, but politically committed Organization. organizationally, right. and that's where the real power begins. Brecht was, you know, not just. A, a great, um, I mean, Brecht was part of a political party. Yeah. Fares was part of a political party. Uh, we've got to emphasize that the great uh, Pablo Neruda was part of a political party. We've got to emphasize that great art was produced in the struggle, not separate from the political party. Of course, there will be c tensions and conflicts as there are in life in all domains between you know what the political party desires to do at this particular point in time what you think as an individual that exists not just at the level of you know the different that exists not just as a contradiction between art and politics that exists as a contradiction within politics right. between people and people you may say well Temur, i think we should do this campaign and i may say no we got to put more emphasis on this uh, this other campaign etc so we've got to recognize that's part of politics that's not even just part of politics that's part of life which cultural group do you know that is not fought on what to do first and not last and debated on those issues. It's the same debates within political parties. So the, the, the thing that I've been emphasizing is that cultural, alternative cultural narratives have got to become part of uh, a left, organized left uh, effort. And we've got to stop staying away from that. I myself, look, and I, I would pr present myself as an example of that, right? So I did my art, did never has my political party said to me, uh, now I'm general secretary, but even before when I started right from the grassroots, never has my party said to me, oh, don't sing this, don't sing that, don't talk about this, don't talk about that, you know, and so on. It's been always something that they've understood. This is an artistic venture. This is something in which Temur should have wide autonomy, right? right? And it's the same, I think, I, I hope that other uh, people have had the same experience. It is only in the left also, I would say, that you have a situation where you have somebody who's a, who's a, who's a, who sings and dances on stage. And I make no bones about the fact that I sing and I dance on stage. And yet I am general secretary of one of the largest left political parties of Pakistan. And has anybody ever said in any of our elections, well, we don't think the Emun Eman ought to be elected to this position because, well, you know, he sings and dances. Never. It's not even something, it's the reverse, in fact. They said, oh, thank God there's somebody who, you know, can bring a bit of color and joy and so on. So it's only in the left that, that can, in my view, that that can happen. And last but not least, think about what the right is doing. Imran Khan had Salman Ahmed and he had, uh, uh, what's his name, Ali Azmat, and he had, you know, a whole host of 
uh, musicians get on top of his uh, uh, container and sing and perform for the, from, from that container and get people out to vote for the PTI. All across we saw, in the recent election, we saw the Muslim League come out with an album of their party songs. We saw the PTI come out with an album. We saw the People's Party come out. We are the ones who started this, not Lal individually, but the left. The left is the one that started this. So for, the, for artists who are committed to, the, to a left narrative, for them now to move away from political parties, when writers, artists are copying what we did, you know, the, the model that we created, would be very, very foolish. And we have to find the space and the space is available and uh, you know so I would encourage artists both in India, Pakistan and internationally uh, uh, cultural activists, let's call them cultural activists to, to continue doing their cultural activism but to join it with the political party on the left of their choosing whatever that may be. That is amazing, thank you very much. That's all we have time for today, keep watching People's Dispatch.